Um, hello, today we're going to focus on how to make a custom hero on Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne. I'm going to teach you how to give it abilities and how to change its art model, how to turn it into a melee or missile hero, and how to change the missile type. First, you'll need to open the warp editor, and from that you'll need to open the object editor, which isn't really that hard. It's the big symbol on the World of Warcraft screen. It kind of looks like... I know, you can barely see it. It looks like the helmet, and when you... Or just hit F6. That will basically do it for you. Now, when you hit F6 or click on the object editor, you should get this screen right here. Then, you click on this little helmet right there. If you want to read if you want to make a hero, don't type in the name right where it says name. Type in what you want his class to be, like paladin, archmage, archmage, ranger, stuff like that. Do not type in his name because then it will make his name his class, and that's quite annoying. If you're gonna make a unit like a peasant, a footman, a knight, or a dwarf or some guy like that, then you type the name right there. I'm gonna make a hero right now. I'm gonna make a blood mage. I'm going to make his class Blood Blood Mage. There you go. I'm going to click the OK button right there. It's going to take a bit. My computer always is kind of slow. Then, these are the. If you made a Blood Mage like I did, the mana abilities. Flame Strike, Vanish, Cypher Man, and Phoenix will pop up. If you want to change those, just double click on the Abilities Hero. It should be at the top. If you want to edit the ability, click on one, then click Edit. If you want to delete it, just hit Delete. If you want to move it down the list, just click that button. Move Ability up that one. And if you want to add the Hero Ability, which is what I'm going to do right now, you click on the Add Hero Ability button. It's right there. Pretty simple. Then that screen should pop up. This one right here. Then you just scroll down the list. It's all in alphabetical order. And there's hero. And you can do all standard or custom. And right now I'm going to give my guy the ability to blink. Also known as teleport. And I'm going to click OK. Now if I want to change his. what he Basically what he looks like on the what he looks like I can sorry you need to find the little thing that says art dash model file and then it should say the name of your character or the art model file that your character is using like if you're using uh, the grunt lieutenant I forgot what his name is it'll pop up in a minute here I promise um, then you'll probably get grunt or drockthal I hope I got his name right but that's how they're debatable now, just for the amusing of it, or just for the fun of it, I'm going to turn my Blood Elf into a Crypt Lord, because it's going to, because it looks funny. Now, I want to change his attack type to, this is the attack stuff, the cooldown, the attack type, damage, dam, or, no, wait. Damage base is right here. It's a, it's right below the cooldown. Then the then you should have three zeros, and then you should have like just two numbers that are right below each other, and then you should have two two or three more zeros. Then you should have like one, two, I don't know how many numbers right there. Then you should have the arc of your projectile, the type of your projectile. That's what I've also kind of looking for, but I don't need that right now. I'm trying to I'm trying to find that thing that lets me change it to melee. There we go. Weapon type. Normal. And then we scroll back up. Go to weapon one missile. Normal. Uh, then we change it to. Projectile Blood Mage Kale. We don't want that. We want his projectile to be something along the lines of let's just make it a Demon Hunter projectile. 
it's easy and it's right one of the first ones I saw so that's why I picked it now if you want to make it if now if you want to rename him like change the name not just the class you got to go to text proper names it's at the bottom like the sixth or seventh one up or something like that double click on it these are all the names that it will name your guy you can either add to this list redo the whole list and if you redo the whole list these are the names that you'll get and it'll be different every time well most of the time that you create or put this here on a map I can't yeah now I'm just gonna delete this whole list or list sorry now I'm gonna name my guy I'm just gonna name my guy ABC because I really don't know what to name him right now it's a pressure thing then I'm gonna click okay okay again always takes a little bit now there's the requirements list here requirements tier one castle requirements tier two keep you can delete them you can add to that you can just redo the whole list uh, you can also make it so that he can train units which isn't that hard i think but some people have problems with stuff it should be like if you can find text name which is right above text proper names it says right there like four above it it says right there unit strained i'm going to double click on that add unit now i'm going to i can make him trained footman now if you want to change his hit points maximum base or if you want to change his hit points regeneration the right below each other they're not that far up from the bottom you can also change his mana maximum you can change his mana regeneration this primary attribute the race and all the stuff like that if you want to go further you can scroll down this list double click on stuff figure out what to give him and what to make him you could literally take if you're if you figure this thing out which i haven't figured out fully yet but if you figure this whole thing out you could literally take a peasant and turn him into a terran marine which you can do on this and i'll show you that right now why well, i'm going to show you how to take them or how to get a marine on this you go to neutral right there campaign and you click on the marine in the little icon that it has is uh the dwarf rifleman and then you click okay and that was it thanks guys uninteresting or unattached side note watch equals three it's hilarious it's a great show i watch it i'm subscribed to it it's awesome